It sounds far-fetched, even for the plot of a sci-fi film. Scientists want to make Mars habitable or more hospitable to our type of life, whatever the case may be. NASA has now proposed a radical idea to launch a magnetic field around Mars. And they hope it could protect the red planet from intense solar wind, allowing humans to explore alongside rovers. Jim Green, NASA's Planetary Science Division Director, proposed their plan that would put Mars inside a protective magnetotail, as they call it, which would help it rebuild the atmosphere that's been stripped by an influx of solar particles. In other words, it would create a protective field, like a pair of equal and oppositely charged magnets, between Mars and the Sun, which would theoretically place Mars nicely inside a sort of safe zone, protecting it from solar wind, and at that point, Mars's atmosphere would begin to rebuild. Simulations of this magnetosphere suggest that it may also be able to melt carbon dioxide at the North Pole of the Red Planet by the way of a greenhouse effect in an effort to restore some of the planet's water, which NASA and private corporate partner SpaceX hope will be much friendlier to long-term visits to or colonization of Mars. These conditions which, if executed, would allow the explorers to study the planet in great detail because they'd presumably be able to stay longer and certainly pave the way for the permanent colonization of Mars if the conditions to sustain human life are able to be established on what now seems to be an inhospitable surface. Something that's hardly ever mentioned is what's beneath the surface of Mars. Regardless of the harsh or frozen surface, there's an abundant amount of heat below, as scientists have now postulated that Mars has had recent volcanic activity, even claiming that it has the largest known volcano in the solar system. Mars has been rattled by asteroids throughout its history. Regions that are smooth must have been resurfaced recently in geological terms because of the very small number of impact craters on them. Scientists speculate that this kind of resurfacing can be done by lava. Other studies have shown that both poles of Mars are packed with water ice, but that ice also persists underground away from the poles and with geothermal activity, it's likely liquid underground and if subterranean conditions resemble Earth at all, could potentially sustain algae. On Earth, algae is responsible for around two-thirds of the oxygen produced in our atmosphere, so it stands to reason that Martian algae could be introduced, assuming it already does not exist, and this may expedite Mars's capability of sustaining air-breathing life like us. My name is Robert Sepper. If you like my videos, please subscribe. To my current subscribers, thank you for sharing. And if you haven't already, please consider checking out my books available on Amazon.com. To those interested in reading these news articles for yourself, I will leave the links below. As always, I appreciate the positive feedback and encouragement. Looks like we'll be having an exciting year, and I will see you next time.